Welcome to this Absolute Beginners Blender tutorial number 16. In this tutorial we'll uh, attempt to model a flower. I'll delete the default cube and choose top ordo. Shift A and curve Bezier. Tab to go into edit mode. Right mouse to grab the handles. Same true for like that. Tab to go back to object mode. Alt C to convert to a mesh. Tab to edit mode. Control tab to get edge. A for all. Shift D for duplication. Left mouse. R for rotation. Y for the axis. 180 on the alphanumeric keypad. Grab it with the X arrow. Control tab and choose vertices. Shift or right mouse shift. And F for face. Right mouse, shift right mouse, and F for face. A for all. Alt F for beauty fill. And um, I'll control tab to get the face. Then I want to change this here to Alt J to get a quad. And I want everything else to be quads too. So I'll A for deselect and then Alt J. Sometimes it doesn't take. Alt J and Alt J and then um, let's go back to edge mode and deselect these, select these, delete the edges and just shift and just F shift right mouse and shift right mouse and F like that and then Alt right mouse shift alt right mouse and then control i to uh, select the inverse w subdivide 9 and then alt right mouse shift alt right mouse a number of times like this then one from the front pull it down we'll get it from the top a for everything and smooth. Then I'll add a modifier, a sub surface modifier, like that. I choose everything. I go back to tab, go back to object mode, and try to center this and uh, shift a curve bezier tab move this up above and this down below straighten out the handles using the right mouse button to select each point three to look at it from the side right mouse right mouse right mouse like that, seven from the top, tab, choose the mesh object, add a curve modifier, the Bezier curve, and choose Y as the axis, press tab to go into edit mode, I'll press the edit cage, and now the there's a 90 degree difference between how the mesh is and how it bend, the, this curve bends. So what I want to do is I'm going to turn the mesh around. So now I have the entire mesh selected. I'm in edit mode, so I'm turning whatever I have selected of the mesh, not the object itself. The object's just a point 
point, you can say, an or a coordinate. So I'll do R, Y, 9, 0, and then tab to go back to object mode. So now, in object mode, this object will look the way I want it. And I can move it back and forth on this curve, and uh, I'm happy with that, and I'll apply that. I can delete the curve because I don't need it anymore. So, and now I want to have more pedals. I'll add the array modifier and I can increase the count if I want to, to let's say nine. And um, then I want these pedals to be around the circle, the center. So I'll press Shift A, curve, circle. I can scale that up a little bit. Choose the mesh object again, and I'll add a modifier, a curve modifier, and I'll use this circle here. If I move in the Y direction in and out, that will affect the way the pedals are rendered. So this is about what I want, like that. Then I'll need more pedals. I'll have a lot of them, 40. And if I look at that from the side and render that, F12, then you can see that they look like infinitely thin, flat, so I don't want that, I want them to look, look a little bit thicker. So I'll choose the that object and I'll add a solidify modifier and I'll bump that up the stack like this. And then I can increase the thickness to 0 0.1, 0 0.1, and then now they will look like they're meshing together, and I don't want that, so what I'll do here is I'll add a Z offset, like that. Oh, that's too much, of course, 0 0.01, like that. And then we can scale that up and down a little bit, see what happens to make it look a lot, somewhat more real. And um, then of course you can add materials to change the color, have a, a, a less of a plastic look and all that, but uh, there's not enough time in this tutorial for that. So this is the end of this tutorial. I thank you for listening and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.